Welcome to Japan Issues. China's overseas dark police. The Japanese government must hurry to clarify the actual situation. We would like to share some of the opinion in the Sankey Shimbun newspaper. December 7, 2022. At a press conference on November 29, Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Hayashi revealed that he had conveyed his concerns to the Chinese government through diplomatic channels about the Chinese police's overseas bases in various countries, including Japan. Hayashi said, We have offered that, if they are engaged in activities that infringe on Japan's sovereignty, it is categorically unacceptable. It is against international law for a country to establish an agency of its own police force in a foreign country to conduct investigations and crackdowns. And it is an infringement of the sovereignty of the country where it is established. In a report, a Spanish human rights NGO, non-governmental organization, noted that China has established dozens of overseas police bases in 30 countries, including Japan, the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, Spain, Ireland, and Canada, to crack down on and monitor Chinese citizens. They are, so to speak, police stations in the dark. According to the report, the Central United Front Operations Department of the Chinese Communist Party, which is tasked with foreign operations, is involved, monitoring overseas Chinese who criticize the communist regime, threatening them to stop their anti-establishment activities, and pressuring their families in China to persuade them to return home. If this is true, it is an infringement on the sovereignty of countries, including Japan, and the human rights of Chinese citizens abroad, and cannot be overlooked. A spokesperson for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs denied any violation of international law or violation of other countries' sovereignty, and said that the alleged overseas police base is a service station that provides online services such as driver's license renewal for Chinese nationals living abroad. However, the Irish government ordered the closure of the Chinese police base in the capital Dublin saying that it was not in compliance with national and international laws that should be observed in Ireland. The Netherlands also ordered the closure as illegal. Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, Director James Ray expressed strong concern about China's overseas police bases in the U.S. Senate. The U.S., U.K., Canada, and other countries are also launching investigations with a view to closing them down. Japan also has a base in Kanda, Tokyo, said to belong to the Chinese police. The Japanese government, having expressed its concern through diplomatic channels, should hasten to clarify the actual situation. It must also investigate whether there are other bases in addition to this one. If an infringement of sovereignty is acknowledged, the bases will need to be removed. In Tokyo also. Chinese people held a white paper demonstration to protest the Xi Jinping administration's zero COVID policy and other measures. Protests by ethnic Chinese minorities have also continued in Japan. In the free country of Japan, it is unacceptable for the police of tyrannical China to act in repression. That's all, from some of the opinion, in the Sankey Shimbun newspaper, December 7, 2022.